Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. We are continuing our coverage of Meta's Llama 4 model which has been released in two flavors, Llama 4 Maverick and Llama 4 Scout. I already have done three videos on it where I have shown you a thorough testing, how to install locally and comparison of all these three models. The third one is Behemoth which hasn't been released yet, that's a teacher model and that is still in training. For the purpose of this video, I am going to show you how you can integrate this Llama 4 Maverick or Scout model for free with your VS Code coding assistant. That coding assistant could be anything. It could be Klein, it could be Claude, it could be any assistant out there including Continue or you could even integrate it with Cursor. You can use any code editor i am going to use vs code but you could go with jet prints or whatever editor is supported by your coding assistant now you can see that right now i am in my vs code from here you can simply go to your extension tab in the extension you can either select client continue or whatever coding assistant you are using so for instance if i click on client this is my client and if you haven't got it just click on extensions and type for client or continue or any other coding assistant which you want so as i already have it installed so i'm just going to click on client for instance and then if this doesn't appear first time on the left hand side just click on this cog icon at the top in settings and you will get this now you see there are multiple api providers here and you can select any i'm just going to select together for now and for that you would just simply need to go to together.ai sign in for your free account with your email and then you get a lot of credits once you are signed in you can grab your free api key from your profile they also have a paid option but i'm just going to use the free option where you get a lot of credits once you have that let's go back to your um, vs code and then select api provider let me paste my api key here and for the model id let's go back to together.ai and i have signed in as you can see here and once you click on the playground at the top you will see there is a chat option once you click on the chat you will see this is a model id so i'm just going to copy it from here and by the way if you don't know where to grab the api key on the top right you see your profile click on it go to settings and then from the settings just click on api keys and you can grab your api key just click on add key and grab the key from here okay so i have the model id i'm just going to go back and paste it here so this is a maverick one and similarly you can also grab the scout one all you have to do is from this playground in chat just select the uh, model which you want and there are uh, you can go to models and then also select it from there there are heaps of model there for example there is the scout model and few others okay so let me open this and then just click on let's go here and i am i am logged in and you can see at the bottom on the left hand side the meta llama uh, maverick is selected and the i just wanted to act whatever it needs to do so I'm just going to select, uh, select this folder icon, click on app.py and let me paste some um, code or you can simply just start talking with it. So I'm just going to click again on client and then I'll say write me a Python code to maybe draw. Uh, let so I'm just going to ask it write me a Python code to draw a 3d rubric cube which i could load in a html page or maybe i'll make it a bit harder for it so i am asking it create an html page with embedded css or cascading style sheet and javascript that visually displays an interactive 3d rubric cube the cube should rotate smoothly in three dimensional space and have distinct colors on each face accurately resembling a real rubik's cube users should be able to interact with the cube by dragging their mouse or using touch gestures to rotate it so let me press enter so you see it has started creating there you go i will let it run hopefully it won't throttle me let's wait for it i'll just click on approve 
i think it already created it or no it says let's start by creating so i will click on auto approve and then i'll just say save there you go L just go down it is still creating it let's wait i will let it run and while it creates it let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation okay let's go back okay all done let me run the command and the command has run and it has opened it like this okay not bad could be better but yeah so rubric cube is there and i'm just moving it my mouse it's not perfect but it is doing what it i asked it to do pretty nifty so can i play with it no i can't play with it i was hoping i could even play with this one nifty okay let's try a few more okay so i am just going to try another one so i'll just close it and then i'm just going to go here and i think this one is fine i'll just click on plus icon to have another one and i'll close this also this window now in this next one i'm asking you to build me an interactive html javascript canvas that simulates fireworks trigger colorful explosions at exact mouse locations when clicked let's see there you go it is building so let's wait for it to finish building i'll just click on save very nice okay so it has finished and it has launched it in my browser so let me click on here wow look at the fireworks nice there you go how beautiful that is this is magic and I'm mul clicking multiple ways. Let me start from here and I mean, I feel like a kid in a circus, so this is so cool. Wow, I think I could give it to my seven year old and he could just go crazy with this. Wow, this is simply sublime. What do you think? Isn't it great? Okay, look, I could play with it the whole day, but I will just stop. Let's try one more. Okay, now I'm just going to try another one. For that, I'm going to say generate a realistic solar system simulation in HTML, cascading style sheet, and all that stuff. Planet should orbit smoothly around the sun and users should be able to pause. Let's see how this goes. I'll just close this one and this fireworks. So let's see how the solar system goes. There you go. Let's wait. And look at the speed of this thing. Really, really good stuff. So cascading style sheet is done. And I'm letting it run so that you would also see the speed of it let's run the command and there you go yeah this one is not that cool i would say and i'll just make it smaller but we can make it small this is nice you see the sliders this one is really good okay this i'll just keep it small i think this could be better okay this is nice this is a speed and this one yeah okay i'll just pause resume pause resume not bad of course we could do iterations on it and we could um, do a lot of things with it but my favorite one is this fireworks at this at this point in time nice so really impressive coding capabilities um for this llama 4 model and as i said if you want to see how it performs with text images or video check out these videos where i already have tested them i also have done the comparison between um, all of these three variants which they have released so check it out too and you can also install it locally and play around with it 
So that's it. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will continue my coverage of this Llama 4 with maybe some other coding assistants. So stay tuned. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.